Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to discuss good versus bad tech recruiters. We're going to discuss how to distinguish between a tech recruiter that's actually doing a great job versus the tech recruiter that completely destroying the whole experience for both the companies where he tries to fulfill the position and applicants basically who are trying to find the best job that matches their experience and the rate they actually want. So first of all disclaimer, I'm just a regular guy. Um, I've been in IT field for like approximately 9 to 10 years. I'm a software test engineer myself. So this is just solely based on my own experience working with different recruiters in this time frame. So how to actually understand that the recruiter do, that you are dealing with is a bad recruiter? How to understand early that it doesn't make any sense to actually continue working with this recruiter? Or maybe continue working with this recruiter if you really, really like the position but be cautious about this uh, recruiter and try to understand if, it, if that's actually Actually what you want so first of all the bad recruiters are sending lots of spam they just like sending out bunch of emails not thinking about the what actually the applicant wants they just want to send out all those in hope that they are gonna reply I guess well I mean that's probably the intention they just send out lots of those and you, you cannot even understand what exactly they're trying to achieve they not even look, uh, have looked at your resume they're not trying to understand what you actually want they just send lots of those well maybe this scenario works in some cases and and there are like perfect jobs found but most of the cases I think this is just like disaster if I see emails like this this is just go straight to the spam or trash folder so this makes no sense then the requirement mismatch if they have not looked at your resume if they just like saw like some buzzwords in your resume let's say and they just decide oh this guy is a great match but when they actually try to reach you and they realize that it's totally different skill set uh, they trying to fulfill a totally different position position and they don't understand the stuff so in this case it's also bad like it's a sign of a bad recruiter who have not done their investigation I understand that it's totally it's hard to actually find a match especially in, in some cases where the market is really bad but still they should try their best to understand because this is what actually the main difference between a bad recruiter and a good recruiter then bombarding with phone calls I think phone calling is just like a sign of a really bad recruiter because they're trying to phone call you all the time they like leave a bunch of voicemails they try to reach you they even send SMS's I mean in this cases I'm I mean this, this is like really bad it's it's fine to just leave like one message like one phone call but when they send email try to phone call you then leave a voicemail then like call every 10 minutes then you realize no I don't want to work with this guy because they totally like ruined the whole experience and I mean it doesn't make any sense most likely it's a job with a really low rate that nobody wants to apply and that's just they trying to like reach you this way and this is bad this is bad experience uh, then it's a request of the personal private information this is uh this is probably the the worst thing ever when they tr ask you for social security for example I usually just hang out hang up sorry <laughs> this is like totally doesn't make any sense I don't want to uh, give any personal details to the recruiter maybe date of birth in some cases and it's not even like a year maybe like date and months because they need to type this information in their system I guess I don't know exactly how their system works but if they ask some personal information I don't know first name last name maybe date of birth Earth, maybe it's okay to uh, give them but social security guys never give out social security this is just like bad experience and since we discussed signs of a bad recruiter try, let's try to compare to a good recruiter so first of all the good recruiter is trying to establish a personal connection if you see a recruiter that is say, that's saying like hey I need to understand your background I need to like write down things about you that actually uh, employers are looking for and then yes then it's like it's a really good sign of a good recruiter out there there when they're trying to reach you and uh, actually asking questions relevant to your experience and this is really good uh, recruiter so I would continue working with this one I had actually quite a few instances of recruiters like that during my um, experience and then it, they review the resume closely so actually they check out all those bullet points they check if if they have something for you for you if this is something you will be interested in they like actually look at this for example the sign that they don't look uh, 
closely at your resume for example you have the first line you say like authorized to work in the United States and then they ask this question once again to you like are you authorized to work in the United States I mean of course of course yes if, if I uh, specify this in resume like this is the sign that they have not read my resume right this is the second sign third sign is that they take notes of you the, as I said they trying to take notes of every single uh, thing about you and actually trying to match all of your uh, pr professional qualities as well as personal qualities because personal qualities also matter if you're like open person if you're open to discussion and stuff like that they should like also make notes on this kind of stuff I mean they, they should at least uh, I think so <laughs> then fourth thing is like never asking for the personal information unless it's really really necessary for example of course social security number is uh, I would not give out my social security number but if they have an offer on hand if if they trying to do background check on me and I have like offer letter uh, in my mailbox then of course in this case yes probably given some personal information is okay like unless it's actually needed of course if it's needed then yes the good recorder will not ask uh, the your social security on your first call this no no never one also thing I wanted to mention is the, the rate uh, so many recorders are asking for the rate on the first call they're trying to like probably um, find the lowest rate they can just like uh, uh, sent to the employer and this is bad because I mean I understand how market works but when they ask for the rate and when they ask multiple times this is like bad experience anyway guys this is what I wanted to say about good versus bad tech recorders trying to summarize my experience about this and I think it's especially important in those times of uncertainty when you are going out in the job market and looking for a new job just try to actually relax and understand there are actually really really good guys out there they're really good recorders that actually trying to know more about you and hire you for the great positions so guys thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos and all the best to you let's try to be very strong in this uh, environment in very uncertain environment thank you very much